It, it's not a biopic, you know, it's not her whole life. It's just this, t this little section of her life when she was most challenged. And, um, and, and I thought that was a, a marvellous um, idea, Guy's idea, just to take that section and really concentrate on that. Um, and, and yes, I read a lot of books, uh, obviously watched a lot of uh, video, but I always find playing these characters you, I like to look at their life up to the age of 20. It's really what, how they were as children and how they were created as children. And it's very interesting, uh, and I love the fact that Guy references that in this film, um, and uh, as you, we just saw about her talking about growing up in, in the Ukraine and, um, and what she experienced. And, and those experiences are the, are the ones that form you, I, I believe. And continue, continue a little bit what Helen said. Um, our inspira my inspiration was Das Boot, in a way that she's in the trenches. She's in one location she cannot leave, you know, and she's very alone in this mayhem of the war around, you know, these men. But, but I wanted to keep it and to, to emphasize the sound rather than going out to the war and see all the horror. So for me, that was the DNA from, from the beginning. And as is in Israeli, I, I grew up um, with this knowledge that Golda is a um, complicated character, and this is the Vietnam of Israel. And going with this knowledge to portray Golda and the commanders, we <clears throat> addressed that in the movie. So you, you didn't get a sweep clean picture of, again, Helen said it's not a biopic, it's a very tough and hard look at the war and every soldier that dies uh, and getting killed, Golda takes it to her heart. And, and you know, so it's, for me, it was going with my eyes open and, and hear all the comments and it, it will evoke reaction. But we also, Golda is not a super um, clean character in this movie. She's, she has her faults, she did mistakes and she took responsibility, which leaders are not doing today. She did. And eventually she resigned. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to um, um, start the discussion in Israel. Can't wait for that. You know, it's a, it's, it's a film about a war, but uh, all Golda wanted was peace. You know, um, if, if, mm -hmm. if we're going to get peace, very often we have to fight a war first <clears throat> of all, and we're, we're unfortunately seeing that right now. Um, I think that, um, you know, she had a, a, a very uh, friendly feeling with Sadat um, at, at the end, and that comes through in that clip. And I, I think she just, uh, you know, her, the crowning achievement of her life was really that um, through this war and through her actions, Israel and Egypt made peace. That peace stands today. Egypt and Israel cooperate a great deal, often in secret, on all sorts of security matters. And that border is secure and reasonably peaceful. And that, I think, is her crowning achievement. I think also uh, what I didn't understand, or I, I didn't realize until we made the film, what was the impact of the loss of this generation of young men on on Israel because there were so few young men in Israel. You know, it was a very young country and it, it hadn't really dawned on me until we made the film. You know, it was the loss of a, a, a of a generation uh, for Israel that, that you know, um, it was a small country with not a lot of young people. So, so to give, you know, such a huge, comparatively huge number uh, over to a war and to lose them in, in this war was, was just absolutely traumatizing for this little country. And, and you know, um, Golda took the weight of that on her shoulders, unfairly, actually, as Unfair. it turned out. And she never complained, and she never um, put the blame on anyone else. But actually, um, and, and she was vilified, wasn't she, Guy, yeah. in, in, in Israel after the war? Absolutely vilified. Um, and it actually wasn't ultimately her fault. 
I mean, it was in the sense that she was the one in charge. So, of course, you know, the buck stops here, so to speak. But, um, you know, she... And, and, and she never tried to put the blame on anyone else. She, she squarely faced it, which was another element of her, her courage and her character. I can, I can tell it from my point of view as a director. When, when I met Helen um, in, in my house, um, I felt like I'm meeting family member, like an aunt, you know. So I felt that I'm, I'm meeting someone from like a Jewish person because for me, she's got the Jewish chops to portray Golda, we spoke about Golda for four hours. She totally got everything, every nook and cranny, every, everything in his character. And for me, other than the fact that I um, adore Helen, um, and I think she's, close your eyes, <laughs> close your ears. Uh, I think she's one of the best you know, actresses in the world. Okay, you can. Um, I, just, I just found her very authentic to me. Now, one of the terms for me to direct this movie, to surround her with Israeli cast, to bring Israeli editor and to, and to bring Israeli, um, more people from Israel to, to make it more kind of like, you know, so I would feel that I'm making Israeli movie, right? And, and that helped a lot to have Lior and all the team here. Uh, but I totally, from my end, it was no, it was, there's no doubt for me. And that's why I was so surprised to see this reaction because, and Helen said something very smart. She said, okay, so let's say only Jews can portray Jews, but what about Jews not portraying Jews? Is this not allowed anymore? So it's like limiting us in such a way. And I think that Israeli and Jews actors, Jewish actors have, they have no limitation of, of and they have no problems to portray, you know, uh, around the world, you can see that Israeli actors are in international shows, and so for me, as a Jewish Israeli director, I had no problem with that. Can I give my uh, yeah, yeah sure, please? On that? Um, let's say tomorrow's a movie about Jesus Christ. Who's going to play him? <laughs> a Jew or a non-Jew? <laughs> Well, it won't be me. <laughs> I, I, can, I, can, I can tell you um, the um, two of Golda's uh, grandsons uh, are here in Berlin, and uh, they've seen the movie. They're absolutely thrilled, and they're very, very thrilled that Helen played their grandmother, and I think that that counts for a lot. Yeah, I spoke to, I, yeah. I, 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 spoke, I spoke to Giddy, uh, her grandson, who spoke to you, Nick, uh, before we started, and he, he said, absolutely, absolutely, it was my idea to, to have Helen, and then it was just a no-brainer. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.